Hi, this is Adam Rosales, and I'm a Major League Baseball player. Today's pro tip is turning double plays as a shortstop and as a second baseman. So starting at shortstop, for me it's an easier turn because you just come across the bag, making sure that you hit the back side of the bag. A kind of funny thing about baseball is that you can kind of miss the bag if you wanted to, and the umpire really wouldn't know. But you should really always try to hit the back side of the bag, even if it's just a small corner. A lot of young players make a mistake when they try to come on top of the bag or come with their left foot. You always want to hit the back right corner because it gives you the most momentum to make a strong, accurate throw to first base. So it looks like this. And you're ready to go. You clear yourself enough room from the runner sliding in. So this is what it looks like as a shortstop turning a double play from second base. See how much room I give myself? When you're younger, obviously the guy has to slide right into second base. But in the big leagues, you have to give yourself enough room because they can slide wherever they want as long as they can reach the bag. So you gotta be really careful about that. So we'll move over to second base, which is a little bit more difficult because there's different angles that you have to come, you have to anticipate different angles. You want to take a direct path to second base so you get there early, so you're ready for the throw, and you're ready to anticipate any bad throw from the shortstop or third base. So you take a direct path to second base, you put your left foot on the bag, and anticipate wherever the throw may be. You always want to take the, the shortest route which is right in front. Clear yourself and your momentum goes towards first. But on a bad throw or a throw to your right, you just gotta hang out right here and step back. But more often than not, you're able to just put your left foot on the bag, anticipate a good throw, and push off with your left foot, land on your right, and give a good accurate throw to first base. So this is what it looks like when the ball is coming from shortstop and it's a routine, routine double play, you're gonna come in front of the bag. And a, a really unique tip that a lot of people don't see when you turn a double play as a young player is that when you come across, you land with your right foot and when you land with your left, you wanna open it up like you're ready to throw. A lot of young players land with their foot closed and they're throwing across their body. And that's just gonna make an inaccurate throw and a slower throw. So I'm gonna do it again, just a routine ground ball to shortstop. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to turn a double play at second base. If you look where my foot is, that's the, the proper place to be. And another thing is your hands. You always want to keep your hands out in front, ready for the throw and to make a quick transition because you don't have so much time to get, the, get, to get two outs. It happens really fast. So we'll go with a, hard, a harder throw, more of an inaccurate throw. We're going to start with our left foot on the bag, anticipating a good throw to your left, but it's going to be a, a, wild, a wild throw or a throw to your right, and you have to push off with your left to the right side or the back side of second base, keeping your hands up and really loading your back side and releasing and hopping over the runner. You see that often. So this is what it's gonna look like with a faster play and you don't have too much time. You don't have enough time to come in front of the bag. So an important thing to remember when turning a double play is knowing the speed of the runner. Sometimes the play develops too slow that you can't get both guys. You can only get the lead runner and that's what you should really focus on. Get the lead runner, the second guy is just a bonus. But know when to throw though. If the guy's, if the guy's fast and it's slow developing, know in your mind, I'm not gonna get this guy. Let's just get one out so you don't have to make an inaccurate wild throw. So that's one important thing is to know when 
you need to make the throw and when you don't need to make the throw. Another thing I'd like to mention is a unique situation. When there's a guy on first and a guy on second base, and it's also a slow developing play. And you get the lead runner at second base, but there's no chance of getting the runner at first base. However, you do know that there was a guy in second base that might be trying to score, trying to hit third and trying to go home. So a good thing to do is get the lead runner when there's a guy on first and second, balls hit, slow developing play, get the lead runner, fake the throw to first, and look to third to try to get the guy that's rounding third base, trying to go home or trying to get too aggressive. So you know you can't get the runner that's going to first, so might as well try to back pick the runner going to third. All right, so this is what that play looks like in regular motion. And another thing to remember is that you always want to make an accurate throw. Like I said before, you want to make sure of one out at second base. The second out is always a bonus. So thinking about making an accurate throw, I'll talk to you about guys sliding into second base and jumping over them. Well, make sure you step off, make an accurate throw, and then jump. Sometimes when you really have to go, when the game's on the line, then you have to jump throw. But until then, make sure you always set your feet, make a good throw, and then jump. This is Adam Rosales, and today's pro tip was turning double plays from shortstop and second base.